Hey what's going on guys, it's Bernie Knuckles here coming at you with another video. Today I want to discuss a topic that I never see getting discussed, but I feel like this topic is incredibly important, especially for Battlefield. The topic I'm getting at here is why you're ADSing wrong, obviously as you can see by the title of this video, but more specifically in this video I want to talk about the bad ADS habits that not, that not only apply specifically to Battlefield, but also the habits that you may or may not be doing that are getting you killed without your knowledge. Now I did just mention that these tips are specifically for Battlefield, but obviously some of these will apply to other FPS games as well, so don't burn me in the comments section. Now all of these tips are fairly simple to say the least, but you may not have ever gave them much thought and thus not be aware of them. Before I get into the actual bad ADS habits and tips, I need to set the tone of how these habits are hindering your performance. So let me ask you a question. What do you think is most favorable to ensure the longevity of a player's survival in a Battlefield game? If you're feeling like a smartass, you may say, don't get shot. And you would be correct. Now the question is, how do you not get shot? The answer is simple really, just keep moving. Remember this phrase, a person that is harder to hit always has a higher probability of survival. So my tip would be to always stay on the move while simultaneously being aware of your surroundings so that you can properly analyze your situation and conclude what the most suitable strategy to take at any given time is. How do you do this you may ask? Well first you need to ensure that you are not doing anything to hinder both your movement or your awareness. This leads me to the first point I want to make about what, you, what I want people to realize they are doing wrong when ADSing and that is reducing their own peripheral awareness. Let me explain what I mean. Some players seem to think that while slowly peeking around a corner in ADS it gives them an advantage in faster target acquisition by being ready to fire the moment they see an enemy. But this is actually not true, in reality it has zero impact on whether or not you will win that engagement. The truth is that for most players, the amount of time it takes to transition from ADS or to ADS from hipfire and acquire a target is the same as if you were to track and acquire that target while already in ADS. Let me say that again, the amount of time it takes to transition to ADS from hipfire and acquire a target is the same as if you were to track and acquire that target while already in ADS. Since now we learned that you can acquire a target by tracking them as you are transitioning from hipfire to ADS just as fast as you can snap to a target while already in ADS, by slowly peeking a corner in ADS you are actually hindering your movement for the sake of accuracy, not faster target acquisition. And like I previously stated before, since movement is so essential to your survival for most situations it is more beneficial to sacrifice that small boost of accuracy for better movement. The second bad ADS habit you may be guilty of doing is ADSing too much or ADSing unnecessarily. You of course already know this but when you are aiming down sights it narrows down your view to a certain portion of the screen, especially if you're using a sight with a large magnification. But what you may not be aware of or ever really thought about is that in addition to literally reducing your field of view when you aim down sights, it also causes you to focus all of your attention to the area within the site instead of the area around you, thus giving you a sort of tunnel vision that reduces your peripheral awareness. Reducing your peripheral awareness, especially in a game like Battlefield, is always a bad thing. That is not to say that you shouldn't run sites that block your peripheral vision, such as scopes and such, but what it means is that you should find the right balance of when you should ADS and when you shouldn't. The next time you hop on a match of Battlefield, evaluate how much time you spend aiming down sights and ask yourself if you really need to spend that much time in ADS. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this commentary video and learned something new or were at least entertained. I plan on making more guides, tips, and other similar videos. If you have any ideas of things you want me to cover, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy right now. Oh no!